do you get rid of strains on photographs and papers on tables? I call them objects and objects. We're going to learn how to erase them in this tutorial. Here is a beautiful antique sofa that we've been using in the Untitled Canvas tutorial series. We will use the clone tool, which looks like a rubber stamp, to clone out the string. Keep the opacity of the clone tool at 100% and set the size proportionate to your object. To set the clone tool, option click or alt click on the good surface close to your target, then release and begin cloning. That is option click for Mac and alt click for Windows. Once you release and move your cursor to the target, you have set the angle and distance offset for the clone. Now you see I don't rub along the line. Instead, I click every so often. This helps to eliminate a pattern or a rub mark. And then I go back over the remaining black and clone it out. But at first I skip along and then go back. Okay, this section is looking pretty good now. Next, we're going to use the smudge tool and smooth it out a bit. For this small sofa, I'll set it at 17 pixels and about 45%. If you've listened to my erasing and blending tutorials, you know what's next. The smudge dance. Up, down, right, left. Very carefully. <laughs> the video is sped up here. Very much so. You would do this quite slowly. I don't know if you caught it, but I moved the opacity down to 24%. And we do the smudge dance across the whole surface. And then we're done. How beautiful. Thank you for joining me, Fran Moore. You can see more tutorials and my art at Redbubble. My username is Franny Ann. See you there.